Welcome to the party. Uh huh. Part two. Wait a minute. Oh man, we have triangles, but how come no parallel line? Oh wait a minute, no parallel, nothing. Man, we in trouble, right? You know what? I'm gonna show you something. Look at this picture. Man, it's beautiful. Now, anyway, oh, uh, segment A C, segment B C. Oh, what if I say, oh, segment. A C. Then what is the value of the length of a uh, segment A C? Then you don't use the line on the top, okay? So, oh, you gotta know this one, okay? So say again, A C line on the top means the name of that segment, but A C without it, then means the value, which is the length, okay? So you gotta understand that one first. Also, I hate using. This AC segment, things like that. Think about it, okay? So, like, I'm gonna show you something. Let's make a simple ratio, okay? Segment AC over, okay, that means, wait a minute, over means what? The fraction, right? Fraction means we gotta use the number, right? That means you cannot use the line on the top, okay? That means, oh, that's right. So, just the AC. Okay, what about this one? I'm gonna use a BC right here. I'm going to say just a BC. That means that we're talking about the length. In other words, number. But long time ago, I had a hard time in my geometry class because geometry teacher keep using this one. Man, I was scared. It was so complicated. But if I name like AC, oh, that's simply a facing side. I'm going to use B. Oh, then how about this one? Oh, A. Okay, then the same thing, but I can use what? Oh, that's right. B over A. See? Very simple. I love this one better than this. Okay. Anyway, oh, the same thing. If you don't mind, use it. Okay. One more given. Okay. Item right here. Okay. Two angles on the top on the C. Oh, that's a that red segment is a bisector. Angle bisector. That means, oh, this angle and this angle exactly the same. See? That's what that means. Okay. This one. And this one, the same. Now, oh, wait a minute. Like I said, oh, where is the parallel line? That's right. Okay, we love that one in part one, right? Hey, you know what? I give you an idea. If you want, you make it. That's it. Okay, I'm going to make parallel line right here. Oh, look at that. See, beautiful. Man, segment right there. See, then I continue this one right there oh just like this oh yeah straight line oh gotta be right there that's it now we have that's right parallel segments right there and this one see beautiful now oh man so this is parallel what about ac which is b okay that was transversal right so we call transversal now we have an angle right here okay this angle i'm gonna call this angle one angle one how about that then this angle and this angle exactly the same right oh that's one right there that means oh i'm gonna call this one two but you remember angle one and angle two were equal that's it because the angle bisector okay so now oh you're looking at this one again now uh angle two and how about this angle way on the top right there see oh that's right that's oh okay let's talk about this one one and one first okay so this one i didn't talk about it okay so that's what alternate angle right interior alternate angle okay now what about angle 2 and this one? I just marked right there. That's right. Corresponding angles. That's it. That's why this one is a 2 right there. But we use this one. Look at this one. I'm going to call this one number 3 maybe. Okay, right there. Okay, number 3 and number 1 was the same. Oh, number 1 and number 3. Oh, that's right. Angle 3. Okay, what about this time? So I'm going to use this one 4. How about that? Angle 4. Angle 4 and angle 2 are also equal, right? Oh, just like this one. Angle 4. See? Can you see it? 
Also, I'm going to call this point right here, okay, way on the top left hand side. I'm going to call this one E. How about that? Oh, we can call anything P maybe. Okay, now, oh, look at the triangle ACE. Oh, left hand side, this triangle. See, angle 3 and angle 4, exactly the same. Okay, so this one and this one. That means, oh, isosceles triangle. See, you remember isosceles? That means, oh, two sides are equal. Okay, that means, oh, this one and this one, exactly the same. Oh, that means this was a B. You remember, you renamed B. Okay, this is it, B right there. Oh, man. Now, I don't have to worry about right here, see? So that, now, you're looking at a big triangle and one small triangle right hand side, which is the B, C, D. That's it. Now, we name this one AD, okay. Oh, let me uh, name this one X. How about this one Y? Oh, X and Y. Now, look at the other side, okay. Don't look at this portion right here, okay. Just to look at the long side, which is a BE, okay. Then, oh, two parallel lines like this one. Then we have A and B, okay, right there. Then Y and X. Oh, we can make a ratio, right? That's it. Directly proportional. That's it. So now, I'm going to go. Okay. A to B. Oh, that's it. A to B equals, oh, Y to X. See? Y to X. Okay. Man, we came back, right? Oh, it was so complicated looking. But nothing. Hey, we got it. Okay, now. A to B, see, A to B equals, see, right there. So, Y to X. Ended up, we're going to do what? Cross multiplication, right? Okay, when you cross, then AX equals BY, right? That means, actually, we can exchange Y and B, the same thing right here. Okay, B goes right here, and then Y goes right there. The same thing anyway, AX is BY. That's why, oh, we can make new ratio like this one. A to Y, see, oh, A to Y equals B to X, B to X. Oh, man. Now, I cleaned everything. Look at this one. Very simple. Oh, man. Many people got allergic to complicated letters and lines and this, okay? Actually, all you need in geometry, this that this line that line this over that this angle that angle things like that now let's make a ratio okay so like left hand side right here you watch me okay right here okay this to this equals this one to this <laughs> oh man or okay you can say oh this to actually this one to this one equals this one to this doesn't matter oh Oh man, beautiful, real world right here, finally. Okay, so, oh, bang, angle bisector, that means this angle, this angle should be the same. Then, we can make a ratio, right? Oh, that's it. Now, 3 to 5 equals 2 to x. But, like I told you, I use x first, okay? I'm going to use x first, okay. x2, see? x2, 2, oh, equals 5 to 3. That's it. Oh, very simple. Now, cross multiplication, right? Okay, 3x is 10. That's why x is, that's right, 10 divided by 3, which is 3 and 1 third. Man, beautiful. Look at that. What about the left-hand side, the bottom? Uh-huh. This was total 14. Oh, this one is 9. That means this is going to be, oh, man, joking. Okay, this one is a 5, right? Hey, now we can make a ratio, right? X to 8 equals 9 to 5. See? Oh, too easy. Your puppy can do. Okay, so X to 8 equals 9 to 5. So, cross multiplication. Okay, 5X is what? 72. That means X equals, X equals 72 divided by 5, right? 72 divided by 5, which is, oh, very simple. Okay, 7 divided by 5, 1, 2 left, 22 divided by 5 is what? 4 times, then 2 left, 2 fifth. Oh, that's it. Or, 
14.4, right? That's it. What about this bottom right here? Oh, that's right. So X2, oh, we're going to use X27 or X3. Doesn't matter, right? Okay, X27, uh huh. X27 equals 3 to 2. Oh, that's it. Cross multiplication. 2x is 21. So x is 21 divided by 2, 10 and a half, right? Oh, that's it. 10 and a half. Is it 10.5? Okay, this is the last one right here. Oh, this total length is 10. This one is x. This one must be what? That's right. 10 minus x. Then we can make a ratio, right? Oh, so I usually x family first, okay? Then 10 minus x. Okay, so right here. Okay, 10 minus x. Oh, 10. 2, which is over. Okay, let me use this one. Okay, x. Oh, that's it. Equals, oh, this one first, right? So 5 to 7. Whew, great. Now, cross multiplication. Okay, this one first. You know why, right? Oh, 5x equals, oh, 7 times this one, 70 minus, oh, 7x. See, if I did so this one first, then minus goes to the left hand side. Oh, oh, I don't like it. Now, oh, that's right. All I have to do, what? Solve it. I'm going to move this minus 7x to my left hand side. It's going to be plus 7x. That's it. See how easy? Scratch and move. Okay, which is what? This one plus this one is 12, right? Okay, 12x is 70. That's why x equals move again. 70 divided by 12. See? Whoo, look at that. See? Now, half and half, 35 over 6, right? 35 over 6. That means, oh, you know what I mean. Okay, so 5 times, then 5 left, right? Which is 5 over 6. That's it. Whoo, beautiful. You know what? I make only one mistake a year. Also, I guarantee only one guarantee a year. Now, I guarantee for this one. If you understand these two videos right here, part one, part two, then I guarantee you're going to get 100 more points on SAT. Oh, 